Hello everybody, welcome back. Some Jedi Fallen Order. Picking up where we left off. We are heading back to Zeppo. Because uh, the game wants us to, not just because of me. Uh, also realize that the last part was only a half hour. And we won't get it this point. But uh, I said I didn't want to go back to Zeppo. Since there was only a half hour remaining. And uh, completely forgot that... There was like one thing on Bogano to get with overcharge. Might have found a Zeppo team. We can't waste any time. Oh, Katie. Heard about a high stakes game from one of Sauce fighters. A few extra credits couldn't hurt, you know? Gambling? Grays, use your head. One of these days, the Haxian brood is going to catch up with you. <laughs> Those slubs? I'll hear them coming from a parsec away. I don't need your gambling habit causing us more trouble with murderous criminal syndicates. You're right, you're right, I know it. I just want to blow off some stress every once in a while, you know? Anyway, all of that is in the past. I'm sure it won't be a problem. Yeah, I'm sure. We're about to drop out of hyperspace. Yeah, sit yeah. Down. I really wish that there was, like, a way to sit down before he said it. Because, like, maybe... Because this came out on, like, the regular Xbox One and that, so the loading times would be a little bit slower uh, but I feel like they still wouldn't be very slow and uh, yeah it's not like you can really do anything in between that you know like in between telling them where to go and then going all right where are we going home world of the Zephyr. Cordova must have spent a lot of time here Cordova spent his life studying the history of the galaxy in many different places dragged me along on a few expeditions. It was educational. He really believed in the past? He believed in the future. But you can't have a future without the past. Um, I mean, that's technically true, I guess. I mean, I can't really say that it isn't. Uh, it's a weird way to put it, but... Technically, you can't have a past without the future either, right? Because if you consider, like, if everything is considered the present, then there is no future and there is no past. Because if time doesn't move forward, you know, like, if time doesn't move into the future, then nothing would be considered the past. Okay, yeah. That was, I, I don't really know what I was looking for there. Uh, where are we going? All the way over there. We got a green door here as well. Oh, right, that's... Okay, so there's an overcharge thing there, and then there's an overcharge thing here that we'll do once we get there. Uh... Now, it's showing these things as being up here, and that's probably because I took them up here. I was about to say, but that doesn't make sense, but then I realized as I started to say it that it did. Therefore, made up the point here either. Must have cleared out to search for the tomb. That's good for us, but the cave will be crawling with them. I'll do what I can to monitor their movements. Something about this doesn't feel right. The Empire doesn't give up ground. I know. I feel it too. Watch yourselves, okay? You too. I mean... He's not That's wrong. the way? Alright. After all the crazy things we've done, you know it. I mean, here's the thing. We've already done this as well, though, is the thing. Like, oh, there's no troops down here. Oh, there they are. No, thanks. Okay, so I need that lift, right? That's the one that'll take me up and over there, yeah. What do I need to get through these other doors? Like, these, this shit's all locked. Uh, I'm gonna assume I need force pull for that, and that's... Well, this one could very well... I don't, I, actually, I don't know, because it has this here. I don't know, maybe there's an overcharge thing on the other side of it or something. Yeah, 
Yeah, not bothering with you. You take too long. So, you know, once again, these are things where I, well, these things are spinning a little bit faster, but I still feel like you could probably stand on the bit. Hmm. Heavy attack works on them. Oh, well, I was going to say, let me double check that this is the right one, but... I guess I took that one step too far. I feel like we're cruising through this game pretty, like, at a pretty good pace. Although, granted, I don't know how long, like, Dalthamir is. And there's at least one more planet that we haven't been to yet, so. I guess I don't know how quick that we're going through it. I feel like we're going through it pretty quickly, though. And good god, the desk is dusty, but it's like the one side of my desk. Like, my desk has, like, three pieces, and, like, just, like, the one piece of it is just dusty as fuck. Alright. Uh, I mean, I guess I could rest. I don't think I lost anything. Yeah, I mean, I'm not even gonna bother. It's not worth the time to sit down. What was it be, right? All right, so we still don't have underwater breathing. The only thing we learned was overcharge, which just requires over there, where this big guy is. And then we'll have, and actually, yeah, we don't even have to deal with the big guy in the middle. Good God. Why the hell did I get so much sh shittier at fighting these guys? Alright, so the other way is the way to go, which means we obviously need to go this way first. Right? Yeah. Yep. Because now that we have overcharge, we can go here, which I completely forgot about. Like, after we got overcharged, I was like, man, but overcharge barely unlocks anything. I completely spaced on, like, a huge amount of things that, well, maybe not a huge amount, because there isn't a huge amount, but I completely spaced on so many things that overcharge actually unlocks. Alright. Uh... Okay, okay. It had the metal behind it. Oh, that's not a good sign. Can also overcharge down there. You know, it's a lot brighter when he holds it up like that. Is there like a secondary button on there that's like flashlight? Ooh, bet you this is the this thing, right? Yeah. The legendary beast. Um I mean, if I can get an aerial attack on it, then climb up, do an aerial attack, climb up, do an aerial attack, that would theoretically just, like, eventually kill it, right? Wow. All right, then. Jesus, fuck me. I mean, I hit the block button as well. I did a good chunk of damage with the couple hits that I got in, but, like, ow, the fuck, and I forgot, right, that's why I should have sat down, yeah, <laughs> alright, so obviously, like, you know, I started his sprint, but then when you walk near them, 
he slows down in case you want to talk to them, right? And that gave a very weird little, like, trounce. I don't even know what the fuck to call that. Weird little bounce in his step there. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother with you. We'll rest here in case I fuck up going down the slide. Oh, see? Oh god, that was pure luck. Absolute luck. And now, so are you. I realize that the jump is probably not really all that necessary, but... Hi, Critter. Hi, Critters. Nice thing about these, at least, is they have, like, that outside range. At least they were nice enough to reset this lift for me as well. I mean, that is probably something that they always did anyway, but, you know, still. Uh, is there, uh... There is, right? There is a save point that's, like, right over there, is there not? I want to say there is. There's one... It's like in this, like, because, like, we found it last time. It was in this really weird spot, and I wondered what the hell the point to it was. Because it was in that weird spot, you know? Okay, let's rest there so that we get the checkpoint. I, mean, I can't actually open up my map while I'm in the water. Yeah, it's right here. I don't... Can we... No, because that's like higher up. Or how the fuck did I get there? Uh, I went through the base to get there. Shit. Um, I mean, how annoying would it be to get to that checkpoint? I'm going to go with Barry. Just... Yeah, I'm just going to go with Barry. I mean, this checkpoint isn't horrible. It has the swimming bit, but... But overall, it's not bad. Because, yeah, the other one... is unfortunately right up there, and we don't have any way to get to it without going through the whole fucking other base first. I kind of want to skip this guy as well if I got to fight the the legendary version of them, you know? Okay, we'll pop in here and use our overcharge to see what this does. Hey, BD, you want to... Thanks. General Chiara. Forces have inflicted heavy damage to the Separatist Dreadnought. Unfortunately, the same is true for our vessel. Despite the damage, I recommend we see this through. Together. You know, I'm not one to back down from a fight. Alright. Uh, yeah, it just repeats what he said. Alright. So, is that it for that? Like, that's all that did was just give us... Alright. I saw a dude was waiting for us right outside. Yeah, 
Don't care, buddy. Already gone. All right. Let's see. We got our ass beat down hard last time. We got like two hits in and then just got fucking annihilated. Just got pinned in a corner. Oh my god! Nope, get out of the fucking way. Alright. So that did a good chunk of damage. That did a huge amount of damage, actually. Unfortunately, I can't trigger it again while he's still hostile to me. Uh, I don't know, I feel like this is such a big area. Like, there should be some other trick to it, you know? Like, obviously I can fight him, and I could beat him. Because, I mean, he probably doesn't attack that much different than the regular ones. But, I don't I just feel like with the rat corpses, the big fan in the middle, the, the ability to climb up like that, like, maybe the ability to climb up was just to give you that little bit extra on your first attack, you know? And he fully heals afterwards. All right. Okay, so I want to get the stealth attack in, but then I do actually have to fight him after. All right. That's fine. I'll fight him after. I don't mind. It was just worth a shot, but I guess that makes sense. I don't like it when games take away the cheese moves, because, I mean, if you want to do it that way, you should be able to, but at the same time, I understand that not wanting somebody to fucking just <laughs> run away, climb up, jump down. Oh, fuck me. Well, fuck it. Let's just... That attack there. No, dude, you gotta get out of there. BD. Another step. Oh, all right. Well, that seems unfair that you can't, that dodging doesn't fucking. Help, BD. There we go, got him. Good Christ, that was a... Did so much damage. <sighs> kind of wish you got... something for it. Because, I mean, clearly it's a boss, because it has a health bar and everything. But I must get through that. Where was... there was the thing down here, right? 
Uh, sure, because that's how physics works. Why not? Oh. Oh, those must open if we get to the other side then. Oh, that's the overcharge thing. I was going to say, was there a door that I missed? Uh, oh. Oh. These things, eh? That works. I didn't even see the rat thing there. Alright, where the fuck are we? We are there. We're heading... Uh, I feel like we're definitely heading into an optional area. And the fact that we're kind of here... I mean, I know we're not here specifically to get... Okay, can I actually advance at all here? Like, I know that we're not here specifically to get force pull, but... I was going to say, I kind of feel like maybe we should go and get it before traversing into, like, a whole other thing. But it doesn't... So fucking bright. I mean, there has to be something, right? Because, I mean, there has to be. Because we killed the big guy. He was guarding this place, obviously. Uh, we have to open those doors from the other side, so there has to be a way around to the other side. Now, granted, that way may not be through here. Um, but there, there was nothing down this hallway. There's no way that they're going to put the put a force push door after a boss, and then just have a long corridor with enemies and nothing else. Like, what the fuck is the point to that? I remember that if I hold it, I can get multiples. I mean, like, I don't see anything for underwater. I don't see anything to force pull. I didn't see anything that would require a double jump. Like, I don't... What the fuck is the point to that corridor? I mean, it's on the map and everything. I mean, it looks like there's a hole at the end. Like, I might need to go underwater, but there wasn't. I mean, uh, I'm going to go back down to the end one more time to see. But, I mean, there... Oh, wait. Can I... Ah. Look, I got it. Wow, oh, those things come back fast. Go, and that opened up a door. Alright. Oops, sorry. Oh, we're over here. Uh, oh, there's something here. Uh, apparently there is something underwater. That's not under that. Well. This obviously gets me over here. Uh, why the hell is this part of the map missing? Anyway, apparently there's something in the water here. Now, it does say it's underwater, so odds are I can't get it. 
until I get underwater breathing, but... Oh well. Thought it was worth a shot, the water didn't look very deep. I thought maybe I could get close enough to it that he would somehow be able to trigger it, but... Guess not. Man, I really hope that there's either no hard enemies... Oh. Definitely. Oh, fuck Christ. No, I don't have to deal with you. Oh my fucking Christ game! What is the point of having a dodge if it's not going to let me dodge the things that I have to dodge? I hate those things so much. Like, so much. You have no idea. They shouldn't be that hard. I'm not saying, like, they should make them easier. I'm saying that I should not find them that hard. Like, I just killed the fucking big... I don't even know what the fuck to call the thing. I was going to call it a Yeti, but that doesn't make sense. I was going to call it a Gorilla, but that doesn't make sense. I, I don't like the big orangutan lizard, I guess. I don't know. Orangutans are really long, gangly arms, right? Like, I just killed that thing, and yet the robot, for some reason, still gives me trouble. Like, I just don't, I, I just don't understand the enemies that give me trouble in this game. But I guess that's pretty much every game, right? Like, look through, like, go onto, like, a Dark Souls forum or something, or any game with a combat system similar to this, and uh, ask what the hardest enemy is, and odds are you'll get a lot of the same one. That's, like, the, uh, like, the standard everybody shits on this enemy. One, you know, like in Dark Souls 2, everybody's like, ah, oh, those, uh, the fucking reindeer in the one section is so horrible. Uh, even though that section is actually really easy. Um... Uh, but other than that, like, well, for uh, Bloodborne is a good example in the uh, in the DLC for it. Oh, piss off! In the DLC for it, the uh, the last boss, the Orphan of Kos, and uh, the I can't, Lawrence, the first Vicar, I think is the full name of it. Fire, dude has lava coming out his ass afterwards. Um, Alright, why are you all glowing? Oh. See, now that... Let's hack you. And then, oh. You will regret that. Bank shot. Defeated an enemy by colliding them with a 
Oh, okay. That was those guys back there. I was like, the fuck does that have to do with anything? Alright, uh, I guess I just need to wait until there. I guess. Alright, sure. Now, can I get through this door? Uh, there's an elevator right through the- oh, yeah, come on, let me through. Huh. Now, is that because, like, I need another way around? Because I don't see, like, a shortcut back into this room, and this seems like it would be the shortcut, right? Um, there's also no way I'm getting- That does open the door. But I have no way of, like, obviously I don't really have a way of leaving Edie over there. So I need to figure out another way across the water. Because here's the thing, if the water isn't going to insta-kill me, I would willingly take that. But there must be, and I mean, there's no way that my force jump is going to take me that Distance. You know what? Fuck it. Let's, let's see what's over here first. Nothing. I swim all the way behind it, though, which is interesting. Okay. Nothing I can do, like, with that while it's on, right? No, because it's definitely going the wrong way. I could slow it down, but it doesn't look wall runnable. And also, the only reason to slow it down would be to touch it, which I feel metal and water still wouldn't be good. Oh, wait, unless. Nope. I mean. Okay, well, it's this wire here that's electrifying everything, so if I do that, does that actually work? That was, that was a complete guess, by the way. It's not something that we've ever had to do before. Think you can help me, PD? And we're good. Look at that. Uh, yeah, I don't see... Thanks for the help anything behind it, so I'm guessing that maybe I need underwater breathing for that to advance past this point. General, are you injured? I'm fine, Commander. Where, where is Martha? Where is my Padawan? My men are scouting the wreckage now. We'll find them. I'm getting a transmission now. Probably the squad. Oh, hang on. It's from the Supreme Chancellor. Oh, that must have been them getting Order 66. Okay. Um, I guess since we can get in the water, let's... Oh, we can go up. Oh, but we can't. All right. Okay, I did that a little early. Oh, wow. All right. That does not last very long, does it? If I time this right, it would be easier if I had a camera angle that I can work. 
Oh! That would fucking work with me here, but... Oh my god, the camera angle is just so bad. Okay, if I get on it, though, can I slow it down? Nope. Damn it. Let me up. Damn it! <laughs> Can't get out. There we go. See, now, if I could use that while here, I could probably get up there. But the fact that I can't, and jackass fucking... There we go. It's gonna be a pain to get back down, but... We're hit. Brace yourself. It was a battle. The ship went down. They were survivors. Wow, and you couldn't even jump. All right. So. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Uh, forcing, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to assume then that to advance past this point, you need underwater breathing. Because uh, I imagine that there's probably... Well, maybe not. I was going to say it looks like on the map there might be some more attached to this, but I mean... I guess it doesn't have to be. I mean, the rest of this that I'm seeing on here could very well just be a part of the uh, the other base. Or, like, the rest of the base that we haven't been in yet. Because it is kind of, like, right over top of this place. <sighs> what the hell is that symbol? All right. Over here, BD. So that powered the doors, so at the very least we have a shortcut back to there. Do, do. Oh! Right off. Oh, whoops. No, sorry, you can continue. Glad he grabbed that side. I imagine the other side would have cut him right now. All right. Well, there we go. We got a legendary creature down. We got a few more things there. Like I said, there is one underwater thing, but obviously we can't get that yet. Oh, I can't get through there. All right. Uh, we already got over there, right? Maybe. Yeah, it's open. Okay. I couldn't tell from that there. Either way, we can use it to skip fighting the big dick over there. I guess I, I, I don't know why. I, for some reason I saw it and I was like, oh, they fire twice in a row. But that's not what happens at all. Oh, fuck, I didn't notice that the other one had actually spotted me. I don't like how slowly our force comes back. Alright, so now, in theory, something over here should have changed. Oh, right, we got overcharged. That's what... I'm BD, get over there. Now this, if I'm not mistaken... Oh, that's gonna go back and forth. Uh, now this, if I'm not mistaken, should connect back up somewhere with this base. Because there was at least 
one, if not two, by the looks of it. Yeah, so where are we right now? We're over there. So I'm going to assume that this is all going to come around and end up here. Because since, well, although this does look like it's going down, not up, but it, we might be able to get there and then drop down somehow. I don't fucking know. We're looking for a tomb, so. I don't like doing that when I don't see, like, A or something on it. To, uh, to like show that he's guaranteed to hit that thing, you know? Alright, let's see where we are on the map. Uh, it should be around there, over there. What is this? Uh, that. There. Did we get that then? Okay, but what good does that do when, as far as I can tell, we're not going to be able to get back without... Right? Like, we're not going to go back. Oh, I did get that one. Actually, you know what? Let me just... Uh, we're on Zepho. Venator Wreck. Survive. Good. I did get that one then. I uh, went through and checked a bunch of uh, shit off that I figured, that I remembered collecting, but I'm not, I wasn't sure if I actually... Oh, that was BD. I was like, the hell noise is that? Oh, we got ourselves another elevator, so we're either going to go straight down to where that is, or we're going to go back up to where the base is. Oh, so how long have we been going? I think we're that getting boss close. fight. I noticed it earlier, this feeling in the pit of my stomach. At first I thought it was Grease's cooking. Now it's getting even stronger. I think the closer we are, the worse I feel. It can't mean anything good. Not usually. Alright. Well, obviously we'll meditate here. So at the very least we have to get our save point. Uh, you know, the question is, do I want to use these two force or these two points on something I probably won't use? Or do I want to wait because I know we'll be getting force pull soon? I don't know how soon, but I know we'll be getting it at some point on this planet, so it can't be too far in the ahead, you know? So I think I'll save it and see what we get with force pull. Mind doing an overcharge? Oh, I see. Overcharging it just does one or the other. Gotcha. That should just. This thing needs your overcharge. Okay, I don't know what the hell the point of that overcharge being there is. Like the hell? Oh, there's some troopers over there. Oh, good God! There's so many zip lines around. Oh god, is that another droid? Oh, multiple of them. Great. That's just fucking dandy. Okay, the other one kind of clipped me out. Uh... 
Oh god, they're actually both taking- I guess they're like fucking sitting on each other, so that would make sense. They're both kind of taking similar damage. There you go, BD, get that one. There, now go fight your friend. You can beat the shit out of each other, so I don't have to deal with you. <sighs> wow, they do a lot less damage to each other than they do to me. Anyway, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh, we got a workbench. Looks like one of these with a bunch of stuff, but it looks like we'll be coming at it from the other side. Uh, must be getting a new thing here. Yeah. You want to climb up a zip line? This motor should do the trick. How does it feel? All right. There's got to be a way to the tomb now. Okay, so now we can go up the zip lines, which is good. All right. All right. Um did read something about having to drop off of a zip line to reach a point, but I don't know. I still don't understand. I guess maybe if you end up coming at it from a different direction. Uh, oh, I mean, there's no platform down there, that's for sure. There's another zip line here. Go up the zip line and drop off before the end to land on the platform. I don't know what the hell zip line is talking about though. It's that's there. Okay, so if that's there, that would be here. Right? Uh there, yeah. And there above that then I guess they must be. Because, yeah, obviously dropping off that one before the end would just kill you. Uh, I'm not sure how much this one unlocks for us. Uh, it might unlock a little bit on Bogano, but not a huge amount. Uh, yeah, I don't see a platform underneath there. Uh, to be fair, I don't really... Maybe up that zip line. You travel up that one and drop off and you end up over there. Wish I had like a, a zoom or something to zoom and enhance. Uh, cause yeah, that's what it looks like. It's over there. Well, I don't even know how the fuck to get to that zip line, so. Yeah, I don't know. Troopers over here. I knew this was a bad idea. Watch where you aim. Watch out, or you'll be next. Yeah, I got him. Okay. The fact that they're attacking... The fact that they were attacking just like that slightly staggered, you know, was kind of annoying. Elevator can't be called from this side right now. Shut up. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it must have something to do with over there. Okay, I see a bunch of shit over 
over there as well, but I don't really see a way to do anything with it. Alright, so odds are this is just going to go back, but I want to check that, and then we're close enough to an hour that I doubt we're going to make it to the next checkpoint. Ah, I see. Okay, I think I understand that. So we'll, yeah, we'll try and get this, or we'll try and get up onto this platform here. To get this collectible. <laughs> this seems like a risky fucking thing to do, but. Ah, fuck, I almost got it too. You travel so far. When you do that, Don't like, like so so far, but at least it's a fairly quick reset. I mean, once again, like if I died there, obviously not that quick a reset. Although once again, I always forget, ah, too soon, that uh, you don't die when you fall into a hole in this game. So in theory, it would actually be a quicker reset if I didn't. Yeah, so that ex that it does explain why this is a thing. And you two back there, stop it. Okay, up we go. And hook. Yeah, see, even going down, he... Although, I guess that probably isn't going any... Oh! Ah, fuck. You know what? I'm fine with that. You can... Oh! Perfect! It, uh, it left me... <laughs> Alright. I'll fucking take it. It's not exactly the way I thought I was gonna get here, but hey, it fucking worked. Stormtrooper used these while scouting the area. Looks like he may have found a way into the tomb. And what is? Oh, this is the stim, right? This is because you're pretty great. Yeah, yeah. Now six heals. Now, if only I could make it work faster. All right. Yeah, uh, we'll end the part here then. I won't rest because I have six heals and, a, you know, well, I don't have a lot of health left, but I still have six heals, so overall I have a lot of health left. Like I said, I'll save the skill points right now since we should be getting force push in the next part of the part after, so. And I don't really particularly care for anything that's in the skill tree right now. Uh, but that'll be it for this part. Uh, thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you next week for more.